All right, let's get into it, dude. Let's get into the weeds here. All right. We've got a uh, we got a we got a beautiful matchup with Chelsea on the road. Absolutely gorgeous matchup. Easy game. I'm I'm actually scared. Uh, I'm going to go uh, Aneka Romo and Jared Shikichi and Seka, Skoda, Basuma, Vandevin, who I sacrificed to the dogs there, made him play the rest of that match. Hato, Inacio, Rico Lewis, Eves, Basuma. And we actually get a week off after this. We get a legitimate, real week off after this match day. All right, at Chelsea, first match of the stream. They've got Osiman up top. Just join the bracket group. Yes, please, even if you have no idea what's going on, join the, back of the bracket group. It's a lot of fun. We'll be able to keep track of it, keep up to date with what's going on. A lot, a lot of fun. This is exclamation point march, my homies. Shigichi. <laughs> Ref. Well, that's easy. That is exactly how I envisioned starting the stream today. I manifested this. Give me Javi Guerra from the penalty spot all day. Goal! Dude, you know it feels like we're still in the dog days of the season. This match included, we only have 14 Premier League matches left this year. Literally only have 14 Premier League matches left. You know how crazy that is? Me and my two left-footed center backs that drive people with OCD crazy. All part of the plan. Shigichi. Well done. Bellarmino Seca. Easy enough. It's a Neko Romo. Well worked. Well worked. Methodically worked there. Yes. We have no evidence that Z is a human. It's kind of just an assumption. I mean, what if I was just a really advanced AI that nobody had announced that they were working on yet? We also have a 2-0 lead in 19 minutes. Thanks to Gonzalo Inacio. That is beautifully done. All right, game on. Chelsea has brought one back here. I mean, I hate the fact that that hit the post. The fact that the goalkeeper wasn't moving was a good sign that it wasn't on target. So thank you, football manager, for that. But definitely a little weird. Vibes are weird on that one. Don't think the job is done. We got to remain focused. I mean, like an Ekaromo has got a friggin' 6.4 here. I'm going to do something unusual. I'm really not liking the way we're playing. I'm going to go ahead and shift us into this uh, formation like right now. If we get a goal, great, but I don't want to give them anything. Says the man that immediately concedes a highlight. And another one. Let's go, dude. You know what's better than one highlight? Two highlights, dude. Let's go. Oh, my goodness, Giannis. Thank you, Marcelo Enrique. Can we not? What's our tempo on? What is our tempo on? Not my tempo. You friggin' stop it! Goodness gracious! I have to a turn freaking counter off so that you don't just run into the other team the moment you get the ball. Come on! Stop! Stop! When we have the ball, just stop with the ball, man. This is getting ridiculous. And why are we not playing it short? I have it specifically set to distribute the ball short because they're not pressing that hard. Sprecken Z English. <laughs> that way we hung on to that. We hung on to that game. We had a penalty in a corner early and then we got outplayed the rest of the game and we just hung on. We made it ugly in the second half. Three points is three points. At this point of the season, 13 matches left. Three points is three points. Newcastle avoids disaster with a win over Blackburn, who's bottom of the table. Um, City lost to Villa. Arsenal picked up a win. Uh, United's the only other team that's, I, I suppose, anywhere near us. We're 11 points clear with a match in hand on them. 
So it looks like us and uh, looks like us in Newcastle. We're we're in a good spot. We got Southampton. We finally get a week off. We have gutted our way through another, you know, an incredibly long bout of fixture. When was my last week off that wasn't an international break? I couldn't even tell you. Uh, I wonder what I'm supposed to do with Gamma right here. I'll try a... Well, I, will I try a playing time promise? I will. I don't want any discord as we come down towards the end of the season. His playing time expectations, not crazy. It's impact sub. We might be able to meet it by just starting him in a few matches. I'm settling on playing time promise. Thank you very much. Well, okay. I didn't look at the draw for the Champions League, but we've got Atlanta Sociedad, Ajax Lons. United just beat Dortmund 5-0, and Real Madrid just beat uh, Olympiacos 4-1. We also have Milan against Basel, City against Leverkusen, Porto against Stad, Rene Juventus against Le... Dude, us, us being the seeded team in the round of 16 isn't going to matter at all. It's literally going to be like United, Real Madrid, Milan, City, Porto, Juventus, Atalanta, Sociedad, and Ajax. Like, all right. Newcastle and Liverpool just drew, which is huge for us. That means we are eight points clear at the top of the table. We should be able to roll our full first team for both of these matches with the three days off. <sighs> Mujahid Kaya has resumed full training, so our $89 million star striker who picked us over Bayern Munich because we're awesome. Gomera to start? Nah. Southampton's 10th in the league. I'm not buying that. Skoda got a week off. He can play. Actually, you know what, you mad lad? I'm totally going to do that because we want – Skoda does pick up a fatigue issue. Don't want to get smacked by that later. I'm going to get Doeg off, and then we'll go Skoda at the strike spot. Okay. I actually love that. We're just going to run Hector Gamera. Best role, ball-winning midfielder. Hard disagree. He's playing striker. He wants more playing time? Go prove that you deserve it, dude. Go bag a goal. I'm changing jobs and becoming a mirror salesman. It's a career I can really see myself in. Yeah, all right. Take him. Take this fool. All right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Rico Lewis has walked it in. The Tottenham captain in 16 minutes. Do not sleep on the fullback on support, chat. Do not sleep on the fullback on support. We need an update on Cabela Mocoena. Far as I know, he's still at St. Etienne. I think I have him on my short list, and so we get updates about him every few months. But uh, da 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 Cabela Mocoena, he's, he's doing great. I feel like you just learn which players get tired quickly and which ones don't. And it's something to do with your system, and it's also something to do with the attributes. Natural fitness affects, like, recovery time. So, like, with uh, Bellarmino Seca... Oh, no, you idiot. What are we doing? I, what the... Like, why, dude? Why? I can never trust you, dude. That Like, that's why I cannot trust you. You know that, right? Oh, please, please. Oh, I thought that was in. Opinion on Scotland's chance at the Euros. I mean, decent shot. Not to win the whole thing, but, like, get out of the group stage, make some noise. Scotland's very clearly at a high water mark. I think Scotland misses the top. You know, Scotland's got, like, a puncher's chance. That is a very important second goal for us to grab there. That is a very important second goal from Hendrick. Let me take a look at maybe some potentially tired guys. George Shikichi, we can get McIntosh in. Come on, Eves. There you go. Keep it moving. K.O. Day. K.O. Day. What's up, K.O. Day? Anthony is love. Anthony is life. Guy's got two goals in, like, a year and a half. She's very clearly not, just very clearly not a good signing. I don't know. Oh, wait, that means Newcastle's playing tomorrow as well. 
Ignacio fitness concern? God. Gonzalo, you're coming off a week off, dude. So this is the match that may just decide the league, Chet. I, I realize we are sitting at a point where there are... Oh, Newcastle did play and they drew. Oh, my goodness. They drew, uh, they drew Man United. Okay, they have a very tough run going. Liverpool, Man United, and us in a week. They've drawn the first two, and now they are at home against us. But on the run-in, they, they only have Chelsea and Arsenal left. After this, I do have United and Arsenal, and that's it for the big seven for me as well. So, as we don't have too different of a run-in in that sense, but we are 10 points clear. If we win this, we are 13 points clear at the top of the table with 11 matches left. I don't want to say anything that could potentially get me in trouble, but that would be pretty freaking good, chat. How long are you planning to stay at Spurs? I have no idea, dude. I'm trying to win the treble this year. If we do that, we will have completed, like, one of the fastest ascensions from no badges or playing experience to, like, the absolute top of the game ever. All right, lineup. Googly Elmo Vicario. Rico Lewis, Jarrell Hato, Gonzalo Inacio, Mickey Vandevin, Javi Guerra, Eves Basuma, Indrik, Bellarmino Seca, George Chikichi, Simone Scotta. Tactic. Aggressive as hell. Probably the biggest match in the modern history of Tottenham. Certainly in England. Captain Rico Lewis leading the boys out of the tunnel. against former Tottenham manager Zinedine Zidane in Newcastle. One of the the most expensive team in the world. We can get one hand on it today. We can get one hand on it today. Let's get that hand on the trophy. Uh, all right, we do, I just want to, you know, want to play a good game. They got the, they're putting the pressure on. We have the quality to play through this. Little lack of composure there. Sergio Luis is arguably the best striker in the world. So we, um, this is why we spent 116 million on Jarrell Hato. That is not a great start. Sergio Luis is the guy that picked Newcastle over us uh, right when we got to Tottenham. And we found this amazing young player and they picked Newcastle. Okay, obviously got some frustrated players out there. I'm gonna make a halftime change. Mujahid Kaya is just better than Simone Scudda. He's finally back from his injury. We're going to give him a shot here. Uh, we've got a couple of options from Kazu to uh, Yanis to play that right side, or we can move George over and bring in McIntosh. Hendrick not doing well. We're going to be look. Uh, we're going to look to be aggressive and make some changes if we aren't getting highlights early in this half. But we are now on a highlight early in this half. We've not had a highlight in this game. They've had three, I think. Only one of them really threatened. Rico, there we go. There we go. Oh, I don't like... Oh, I, I do like it! Yes! It's George Shikichi! The Hammer has scored for Tottenham! No, oh, that's a goal. That's just. They take off the freaking God tier uh, Brazilian. So that's a really good ball by Basuma. Oh, McIntosh. Yes. Constantelius is in behind him here. Giannis. It's George. Anasio, Kaya, Constantelius. It's Giannis! Corner. Chagichi. Uh, way to battle. That'll be ours. Way to battle. Oh.
Yeah, it's tough. I put too much pressure on him in the pregame talk. I didn't handle it well. Dude, that, that sucks. That sucks. It's just a big missed opportunity to create separation. It's our first loss in the Premier League since August. Um, we've been on a really, really tremendous run, obviously, with the way things were going, but they have a really talented team. who We still dominated for possession and control of the match flow. We just... Um, you know, that second goal was silly, obviously, with the, the rebound off the post and everything, but we didn't close down the initial shot well at all. And the first goal, you know, Rico had ended up with a 6.3. He just got beat. He just got beat for positioning in the air. Yeah, whatever. I'm eager to get on to the next match. We've got Luton at home in the FA Cup. Just get me to the next match, dude. Still rather be up seven points in the league than down seven points in the league. It was a big chance to stretch it, but I'd rather be up seven. How many teams are left in the FA Cup? I think it's just 16. Nice. It is just 16. Could just fire ourselves in the last eight here. So first of all, they're not even in the prem. So no, I'm not disrespecting them too much. Luton is sixth in the championship. So this is a massive opportunity to make sure that we completely rotate and have a team that is super fit and ready to go for the next match, which means Gamera should start. So Mujahid Kaya is going to be on the bench. Gamera should start. We're trying to appease him. All good. Quarterfinal of the FA Cup. <clears throat> Please rise and remove your caps for the performance of the FA Cup anthem. It's the FA Cup. Be seated. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, FA Cup quarterfinal, chat. Very excited. Always uh, an emotional time when you hear that song. Ah, Belky Arcanelio in his debut gets hurt in the 12th minute of play. Sometimes it's just hard to dream it up, you know? All right, Mujahid Kaya, you're coming in. We're going to drop Hector Gamera and just have Mujahid Kaya try and pick up uh, pick up as much match sharpness and confidence as he can get our, uh, our striker that we're hoping is going to be the star that can carry us down the stretch of the season. I mean, tactically, it looked like it was going to be pretty good. Oh, how did that get through? Oh, how did that? Oh, my goodness. What a pass. Oh, this is brilliant football from Tottenham Hotspur. It is a wonderful delivery from Regevich and first time shot by Constantelius. The game flowing one way. They've popped it back against the grain and the Greek freak has another goal. Oh man, he nearly had a butte there. There we go, there we go. Move that ball, move that ball. Yes. Radjevic. Oh, there it is! Mujahid Kaya! There's the goal to announce the return of the promised king of this front line. And it is a really impressive strike from Mujahid Kaya. First time with pace. And if they can get him firing, they might just be untouchable. That was exactly what the doctor ordered here. Just a confidence builder, a welcome back to the team goal. Oh, is he on? Oh, Kaya! He's onside! Two goals in a minute! For the mercurial German madman, Mujahid Kaya. 
Jennings Radjevic has been an elite player this season to the point that I wouldn't be sad about Javi Guerra having to leave, and that's saying a lot. Like, if Javi Guerra got a Real Madrid offer and he got all upset about it, I'd be like, dude, give me $95 million, and I'd say yes. What a save. You're very good at FM, my guy. I only watch your second channel, though. Which one is that? We've got live... You know, which is the edited versions of the streams. We've got, obviously, the Zealand channel. And then there's Zealandism. But Zealandism is my passion. Oh, no. I wanted to save on clean sheet bonuses, and I am going to give them the respect that seemingly they have earned here by, uh, by bringing this in. Do, do, do. Look, I've been playing FM too long. I know how much you can get screwed in this game. I'm not trying to get screwed in a cup. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice work, everybody. City's out of the Champions League. Leverkusen just knocked them out. Milan won in the 91st minute on a penalty from Charles de Catelaire to knock out Basel. So AC Milan survives to the round of 16, but City is out. Leverkusen has taken their spot. Canelio strained a hamstring. He's out three to four weeks. That is... So unfortunate. Such a rare opportunity to play, I gave him. Oh, the draws today. Oh, nice. All right, let's take a look at the teams. <coughs> the seeded teams. The teams that got a bye. Arsenal. Barcelona. Bayern Munich. Benfica. Inter Milan. Newcastle. Paris Saint-Germain. And Tottenham. The unseeded teams. Boom! The teams that did not finish in the top eight and had to win last round. Ajax, Atalanta, Bayer Leverkusen, Manchester United, AC Milan, RB Leipzig, Real Madrid, and Stad Rene. I would love Ajax, Atalanta, Leverkusen, or Stad Rene. Any of those four, I'm Gucci. All right, let's do it. I'm cool with Atlanta. Honestly, if we're reaching, I'm cool with AC Milan too. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, beggars can't be choosers here. I'll take that one if you need. If, if you need, I got you. Okay, fine. You know what? It's not Real Madrid or United, so I'm cool with that. <laughs> I am cool with that, chat. That's the one we wanted. We wanted AC Milan. That is certainly not the worst draw we could get. They barely beat Basel. All right. Man United and Inter. That's a very good tie. So very good round outside of Real Madrid and Benfica. Who, you know, whatever. We've got AC Milan. That checks out. You know, that's uh it's good, it's good stuff right there. FA oh, it's our FA Cup draw too. Okay, uh the eight teams left. Man City and South well, I guess they haven't played yet. I want West Brom, obviously. But it's Arsenal, Villa, Chelsea, Everton, Newcastle, us, West Brom, and then City or South End, which is gotta be guaranteed to be City. Even if that is a replay. Oh, please. Yes. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Tottenham Hotspur right there. Boom. Tottenham Hotspur. That's the two teams I wanted. Okay. Give me Chelsea, dang it. Out of these three, I'll take Chelsea. Yes. Yes. Tottenham. I love it here, dude. Having a great time. Thanks. Little North London Derby in the quarterfinal. Sounds amazing. Okay. We good? Yep. Team's ready. Please tell me we can win this match here. Let's get back into the win column in the league now. Kazu Kanda's back. I like the fact that we're able to utilize him here. <laughs> They've lost four of their last five. Come on. Oh, that's mine. Yes. Simone Skoda, the garbage man. How many turnovers are in this highlight exactly? I don't know if I can go through this emotionally. Because that's, it's four now. Endrick. I mean, I can, okay, I can work with it now. I'm okay now. As long as it ends up with a goal for us, I'm okay. Do, 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 do. No, that sucks. What? Vandevin is hurt again. God, you glass cannon of a beautiful man. My last name is Shannon, right? That comes from the Shannon clan, which was under the McDonald clan in the Scottish Highlands. 
because my family's done some DNA stuff to track that back as far as that, at least, right? Now, the Shannon clan was originally, uh, the word Shannon started with an A, but then a bunch of people started mispronouncing. That was a beautiful goal, by the way. A bunch of people started mispronouncing it, right? It was written like Ashenon, but then it, it, it evolved. Like, if you track the last name on the people, it, it evolved. So, especially when we, where we live in a world where people have got last names from all over the place and they grow up somewhere else. Yeah, my mom's family changed her last name, too. That happened a lot in the U.S., actually. That sucks. We just got comfortable and just gave it right back. I think Regovic can become a saint. I mean, the dude's an absolute animal, so... We're in the realm of possibility. Thank you, McIntosh. He, he's one of those guys that just plays so well in the match engine. But his shots haven't been great. This is just... All right, you guys ready to do some Zealand history? All right. Because we're going to win this match, hopefully. Uh, but your, Ze yeah, your Zealand history of the day. So the way that Spain particularly did colonialization, particularly back in the day, was they had a more mixed society. That doesn't necessarily mean it was better. Right, there was still like rampant racism going on, but they the, the society was way more like they integrated the native population. Where when I'm talking about like exclusionary colonialism, they expelled the native population. Right, like the, you know nobody was hanging, despite whatever Thanksgiving was. Right, nope, they they weren't all hanging out together all the time. All right, and they 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 didn't integrate into the society even at like a bottom tier. They were just on the outside of it, kind of in the woods in the Appalachian Mountains. And, the, you know, the, the, particularly on the English side. 